In this video, we are going to discuss airborne PPE. This PPE should be used for aerosol generating procedures, which are as follows. Intubation, extubation and related procedures. Tracheotomy, tracheostomy, manual ventilation, open suctioning, bronchoscopy, non-invasive ventilation or NIV, bi-level positive airway pressure or BiPAP and continuous positive airway pressure ventilation or CPAP. Surgery and post-mortem procedures in which high speed devices are used. High frequency oscillating ventilation or HFOV. High flow nasal oxygen or HFNO. Induction of sputum. Some dental procedures including high speed drilling and we will also describe the areas where these procedures will happen. For example, in the intensive care setting, theatres, high dependency units, and also for any person who is on the cardiac arrest team. Before you begin, tie your hair back. and then remove any jewellery. Make sure that you are wearing scrubs instead of your own clothes. You will then want to ensure that you have prepared the area. This will mean checking that you have hand gel, an FFP3 mask, a face visor, a fluid repellent gown, gloves and tape. You will also need a buddy to help ensure that you have all of your equipment on correctly. You are now ready to don or put on your PPE. Firstly, start with hand hygiene washing and gelling your hands as per the WHO guidelines. Next, put on your FFP3 mask. Ensure the bands are in a criss-cross fashion. You may need some help with this. Do the fit check, ensuring that the mask is moulded to your face and that you have a good seal. Next, put on your visor, and your first pair of gloves. You are now ready to put on your gown. Again, ask your buddy to help you tie this. When putting your gown on with your buddy's help, it's important to ensure that it's tied enough to make sure that it doesn't fall down when you're doing your procedures or reviewing patients, but not so tight that you won't be able to rip it off when doffing at the end.
Now put on your second pair of gloves. These should be put over the sleeves of your gown. This pair of gloves needs to be taped vertically to the gown. They should not be taped around your wrist as this will make it very difficult when removing your PPE at the end. Each arm should have four pieces of tape. You are now almost ready. Ask your buddy to check that you are safe to enter the room. And make sure that you're wearing all of the right equipment. To recap, this will be your scrubs underneath all of your PPE, your visor, your FFP3 mask, your gown, and two pairs of gloves with the second pair of gloves taped down to the gown. You may now enter your patient's room. We will now explain how to double bag your samples using the buddy system. Your pre-labeled sample will be inside the first bag. Roll this bag up tightly. Now gently knock the door with your foot. Your buddy will hold the door open. Place the bagged sample into the second bag which has been labelled on the outside and your buddy will zip lock the bag. Your buddy will be wearing gloves and an apron plus or minus a mask as per local risk assessment. When you are ready to exit the room you will need to doff or remove the PPE. This must be done in a safe manner. This is very important. Everything other than your mask will be removed inside the patient's room. To begin with, whilst in the room, unfasten the gown. And pull away from your body in a peeling motion. Turn inside out. Roll into a bundle and dispose of into the clinical waste bin. While you do this, the outer pair of gloves will be removed with the gown. Next, gel your hands. Next, remove the visor by pulling it from the back away from your head, ensuring that you do not touch your face or hair. Place this directly into the bin. You can now remove the remaining pair of gloves. Again, gel your hands as per the WHO hand hygiene procedure.
you will now only have your face mask on. This must remain on until you have exited the room. You are now ready to remove your FFP3 mask. Do not touch the front of the mask as this may be contaminated. Instead, reach around the back of your head, take the band and lift this over your head. Now take the band and pull the mask away from your face, dropping it into the dustbin. Now you can gel your hands using the WHO procedure. After gelling your hands, you must wash your hands with soap and water, again using the WHO hand washing procedure.